Much of the time, a client will provide a flat logo like this. But if this is a logo that you created yourself or it's something you've got freedom to animate, you can do a lot if you can get access to a layered Photoshop version of this logo. Now, it turns out I actually made this logo. It's, you know, I know it's great, huh? Well, I made it in Illustrator with each segment on a separate layer and then exported that to a Photoshop file. And if I open it up in Photoshop, then we'll see I've got three separate layers, words, star, and circle. However, there are a couple of things you have to watch for. Number one is layer masks. I've got a mask on the star which restricts it to the circle. Without the mask, it pokes out. Also, the circle and the effects and the words have all got effects visible. So those drop shadows. Now, the problem is that Final Cut can't understand layer masks or layer effects. So if I was to import this file direct into Final Cut, it's not going to look the same. I will drag and drop that file here into Final Cut, and you'll see straight away that it did come in, but the stars visible and the shadows are missing. Usefully, this is imported as a layered file. And so you can see each layer individually. You can do some really useful things with this. You could animate, you could move each of these layers on their own. But right now, it's not quite what I need. How do I then flatten down these layers so that I can get something I can work with in Final Cut? I'm going to undo, which will undo the import. It's a very useful feature. And reopen that Photoshop file. Now, there's many, many ways to flatten things. What you don't want to do is go to Layer and choose Flatten Image. That will simply flatten everything to one layer, and then you've lost your flexibility. One easy way to flatten things is select the top layer, press the New Layer button, then Shift Select the layer below your new layer, that is hold down Shift and click on the layer below, and press Command E. Repeat that for each layer. When you make a new layer and merge, which is Command E, merge the selected layers together, it flattens all the effects. Each of these layers has now had all their effects and masks mashed in together. And look, there are other ways to do it, but that's a really quick one. I'll now do Save As, because I don't want to lose all my flexibility in my original file, and just save it as Flatter. So I've flattened each layer down individually. Now, when I go back to the Finder, find my Flatter file, and drag it into Final Cut. It still comes in as layers, except the shadow and the stars are still there. Now, the shadow is subtle, but if I zoom in, it's there. And now I can animate as much as I want to. One extra trick. If you have Affinity Photo, it's a Photoshop competitor, then it has actually one sneaky extra trick for you. If I look at the Layers panel, this is the same Photoshop file, but opened in Affinity Photo, and it will open Photoshop files. It's still got a layer mask, and it's still got effects. All of those have been translated across. But the save process actually turns out to be a little easier. When you do File Export, you can export a Photoshop document. Just move things out of the way here. You've got a Photoshop document that is optimized for Final Cut Pro 10. And when I hit Export, save the right place. It actually automatically flattens things down so that Final Cut 10 understands them. Still a Photoshop document, and very similar to Logo Flatter. And when I drag it into Final Cut, I've got the same thing. The same shadows, the same mask applied. Now that you've been able to do that, either way, with Affinity Photo or with Photoshop, you'll probably want to animate each of these layers independently. And that's what I'll show you in the next video.